Michelle Young's season of The Bachelorette is just starting to heat up and we have a sneak peek about what's going to come next week on episode three. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news. We've got all the details you need to know about what's to come on Michelle's season of The Bachelorette. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, joined today by the lovely Morgan Wright. Morgan, how are you doing? I know you are a big fan of Michelle. What are your thoughts on her season so far? I am a big fan of Michelle. I have to be 100% honest with you, though, Zachary. I've been having a little bit of bachelor fatigue. I feel like we have just gone from season to season to season to season, and I'm like, what just happened? So I've been slower to get motivated about Michelle's season, but I love Michelle, so I'm going to give it 110%. Oh my God, I'm so glad because this season is just starting to heat up. There is getting some drama between some of the guys. We all saw what happened last week with Peter and Will and Jamie, of course, was very explosive. So let's take a look at some of the clips for next week. We're going to go through them together and see if we can predict what is going to go down. I don't really know who to trust right now. Are people really being genuine and authentic? I'm ready to do whatever it takes for Michelle. Oh, it's so interesting when the Bachelorette gets in her head about who she can and cannot trust, especially in the beginning when there's so many guys there. I mean, after last week's episode, do you feel like Michelle is going to feel like some of the guys have turned on her because of the whole Jamie and Joe rumor? Or do you think that she's going to, you know, get back on her two feet? Well, I really think that it depends on the guys. I mean, there was a lot of guys there that said that they were just going to let the past be the past, that they were going to focus strictly on Michelle and their relationships, which really is what I think that you should do. The bottom line is that if Michelle was seeing somebody in a bar or whatever, she wouldn't be the bachelorette, right? She would be with that guy at a bar. So I feel like the only thing you can do is move forward and trust your gut. And I feel like at the end of the day, Michelle will be able to tell which guys are willing to do that and which guys want to hold on and dig up old drama. I mean, really just for the sake of it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense why you would question Michelle's authenticity when she's literally the bachelorette. Of course she is single, otherwise she wouldn't be in this role. And she's the one that's supposed to be questioning your authenticity. So I was a little taken aback when Jamie kind of blindsided her last week. So I'm interested to see what will go down next week with Jamie and how that storyline will continue to progress. Um, but in this next clip, we're going to look at the next group date. And these early group dates, Morgan, are always so competitive. They're always so high tense. So let's take a look what they're doing. Okay, Morgan, can you explain to me, are they learning to fly planes? Like, what is going on here? Yeah, it kind of has like a Top Gun feel to it. And I feel like we've seen this before, Zachary. If you remember, we had a very similar group date. I believe on Peter's season of The Bachelor, I remember, I, I believe it was Victoria Paul got in that spinny thing and then she ended up hurting her back and like couldn't participate oh, no. in any of the group dates. So I feel like they're kind of ripping Pilot Peter off in this moment, kind of like doing the same exact date. But I mean, the guys look great in their little green onesies. I got to say, I'm here for it in the aviators. Oh, my God. No, they look so good. They look like they're going to war or something. I love them in this suit. I hope that no one gets hurt. Like you mentioned, Victoria P did get hurt during Peter's season. Somebody gets hurt every season, Morgan. Like there's always an ambulance. And if there isn't an ambulance, someone fakes gets hurt and there's a fake ambulance. Like there's always something going on. Would you feel comfortable flying a plane if that is what they're doing? Because it looks like they're going to learn a little bit about that. I feel like if if something was to go wrong, they never show it on the show. So, you know, going into the group date, I would be like, well, I've watched the show my whole life and nothing bad has ever happened. So I guess I'll just go for it. But then on the other hand, if something bad did happen, they very easily could edit it out. So you know what? I would just give them the benefit of the doubt and say, I trust these people aren't going to kill me on national television. I would do it. Now I'm starting to think of Rachel and Matt. Do you remember when they went skydiving and Rachel literally like crashed to the ground? She ended up being okay. 
but she hurt her head or something. So yes, these activities could be very dangerous on these group dates. So hopefully there is an EMT not too far by. They are in the middle of Palm Springs here. But one of the stars or the standouts of this group date is going to be Martin. So let's take a look at this next clip and see if we can learn a little bit more about the Miami gym bro. I feel on top of the world right now. Okay, a lot going on here. First, we see Rodney running up the stairs naked for some reason. Are, this is bringing me back to flashbacks when they got naked on Claire's season with the dodgeball thing mm -hmm. and Yosef threw like a whole <laughs> tantrum. Morgan, I'm going to assume that you're not going to get naked on national TV, even if you lose a dare, right? <laughs> no, I personally wouldn't, but I know you would, Zachary. We've had this conversation yeah. before. <laughs> I would. Yes, in Bachelor in Paradise, but maybe not on The Bachelorette. It looks like they're inside. I would be more comfortable getting naked at a beach. But we also saw Michelle making out with two guys, one of the guys being Martin, who it seems like they're playing an orchestra for him. So he may or may not be getting a one on one date. He's in a striped shirt or maybe he's getting extra time. What do we think so far about Martin? Because, you know, he is this gym bro from Miami. He has this dyed blonde hair. He has a couple piercings and tattoos. Do we think that Martin is the right guy for Michelle? I don't really know. I mean, on paper, probably not. But sometimes, you know, opposites do attract. So I can definitely see. I mean, look, she's smiling ear to ear. There's definitely physical attraction. There looks to be some chemistry. And sometimes it's these types of pairings that really surprise you. As of right now, I like Martin. I mean, things could change. This outfit is giving me kind of like Scott Disick vibes, <laughs> which I'm not really a fan of. Uh, but we not won't judge him on that just yet. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. See, I'm still like a little unsure with Martin just because he did play a little bit of a role in the whole Jamie drama from this week. So I just don't know if I can fully trust him. But it seems like Michelle really likes him. As you mentioned, she is smiling. And she's also dancing with Clayton, who is rumored to be our next Bachelor. He might be getting a one-on-one -on -one date. We know that Clayton is a huge role in this season. Otherwise, he wouldn't be the next Bachelor. What do we think about their connection? Because we didn't see anything of Clayton this week. So we really only know of their connection from the first week. Yeah, I just feel like it's such an interesting twist for us to be watching Michelle's season pretty much knowing that Clayton is going to be the next bachelor. So it's like, you see Michelle, she looks very smitten. I mean, even when she's kissing him, you can see there's a smile on her face. So to know that something somewhere goes south, it kind of adds a level of drama to me that I'm like looking out for the signs, right? That something is going to go down between these two. Obviously, I don't think it's going to be anything bad. I feel like Michelle will probably just come to the realization that Clayton isn't necessarily her person, they like to say. But I'm enjoying getting to know him slowly but surely. We're warming up to him. And I mean, he's going to be our next bachelor. So they have to we keep don't have it a suspenseful. We don't have a choice if we're going to like him or not. He's the next bachelor. We have to at least try and like him. So it looks like Michelle is, you know, very happy kissing Clayton, even kissing Martin. But she's going to be falling in love with a few other guys. There's no doubt about it. So let's take a look at this next clip to see who else she's gushing over. Do you feel like you can trust me? I do. I could see myself falling in love with one of them. It's so crazy. There's just not really a competition between me and the guys that are here. Kind of sounds like Jamie which would be the last person that should be saying that. But I want to talk about this clip with Nate because he got the first impression, Rose. He got the first kiss. He did get a little bit of screen time this week, but not a whole lot. A lot of the episode was focused on Joe. But next week, we're seeing Nate and Michelle. He wants to know if she could trust him. Do you think Michelle should trust Nate? Yeah, so like you said, we haven't seen too, too much of Nate, but I think everything that we have seen of him has been very positive, right? There hasn't been this huge blow up moment that involves Nate. He seems to be very focused on his relationship with Michelle, doesn't really seem to be bothered by the outside noise. And I feel like that specifically is what you are looking for when it comes to finding a future husband. So I have high hopes for Michelle and Nate. I, you can just tell that she totally has a thing for him, the way that she's looking at him. I think Nate's going to go very far. Oh, absolutely. She totally has a thing for him. There is this intuition bachelorette seem to have when they give out their first impression, Rose. So 
I hope that Nate could, I hope Michelle could trust Nate, but it also makes me a little worried with the music and everything. It's so dramatic when he's like, do you trust me? It reminds me of Aladdin, you know, with the red, with the carpet that's flying. And he's like, do you trust me? So there's definitely some type of Disney vibe between these two. And they're somewhere on the side. Maybe Nate's going to get a one-on-one next week. But who do we think is saying this whole thing about competition? It definitely sounded like Jamie. Don't you think Jamie should be the last person that should be acting arrogant or like he has this in the bag after what happened this last week? Yeah, I mean, if I had to place a bet, I would say that it's on Jamie. I also don't know who they're talking to in this scene. We see like long blonde hair. I don't know if it's a producer or who exactly that is, but it always seems like the person who says these kinds of statements have zero self-awareness. So it's like you said, anybody who's bold enough to make this statement probably doesn't have the most self-awareness to know, you know, you're actually turning into a little bit of a villain and it's not going to end well for you. That's usually how this kind of stuff plays out. It's usually the villains that don't understand that they're becoming villains and they're just not very self-aware That's not how you do well on this show. But, you know, producers are very smart and they know how to get certain reactions out of different people who might be a little bit more naive. So there's going to be drama next week and I cannot wait to see what goes down. It's only episode three. It's just heating up. So let's keep going through the clips. We have a couple more to go through to see what is going to transpire. How did he think he would get away with this? What the f***, dude? I'm going to keep exposing you. This man is really pushing my Okay, of course there's going to be a physical date. with Someone is going to get hurt on this date, Morgan. There's going to be a lot of drama. We saw Peter yelling at someone. He might kind of continue that drama with Will. And then Rick is, seems to say something along the lines of how does he think we're going to get away with this? Probably talking about Jamie, who did not admit to the guys that he was the one that questioned Michelle's authenticity, which really set her off at the last rose ceremony. What drama are you most looking forward to? Or what do you think is going to be the biggest moment of next week? I definitely think it's going to have to do with Jamie. I feel like that storyline is like progressing, progressing, progressing. I just got to say, every time that Rick comes on the television screen, I feel like he's on the verge of tears. (laughs) Does he not look like he's crying 24-7? Like in this scene, I look like like he's about to cry. You know, when he's standing, I think he's like wearing a pink suit or something like that. He like puts his hand over his face. Yeah, he's like, looks like he's about to cry. I'm just like, Rick, can I give you a hug? (laughs) It's going to be okay, Rick. Can I give you a hug too? Rick is so hot, but he does seem a little drama, not in like a drama drama with like other guys, but just like a little bit, um, maybe high maintenance. Is that the right word? (laughs) Um, But who knows? We're going to have to get to know Rick more, but I definitely want to keep him on our TV screens. I mean, this whole Peter versus Will drama, we can see here that Peter is probably yelling at Will, unless he found someone else in the house to yell about were you team Peter or were you team Will after watching this week's episode? I mean, Peter bugs the life out of me. And I'm sorry, you cannot yell at somebody while wearing a sweater tied across around your shoulders. Mm-hmm. It's just the two messages do not mix. So I am team Will when it comes to the Peter versus Will <laughs> saga. Okay, well, I am team Peter just because I feel like Will started it. And we all know Peter is annoying. But Will was the one that just started it and picked a fight with Peter. And you're not supposed to poke the bear. So I feel like he poked the bear. He set Peter off. And now Peter is going to go into this spiral. And it's going to be amazing television. I hope there might be a scene with like Peter throwing in someone's jacket in the pool. Um, So we'll have to see what is going on with that. Manipulating us and her. Did you see how hurt she was? Did you see that? Trust is something that makes or breaks relationships. So it seems like trust is really going to be a factor in next week's episode. We're still early on here, so she can't really tell which guy she can trust and which ones might be here for the wrong reasons. I mean, out of all the guys, who do you think are a couple she can trust right now and who are a couple that already have red flags? Well, I think we're definitely seeing good edits for Clayton, Nate, and Joe. I feel like those are three big front runners. I feel like she probably 
looks to them the most. Uh, as far as who they can't trust, I think the number one person on that list is Jamie. Kind of stuck his foot <laughs> in his mouth. Nobody really understands what the heck is going on with him. Um, I feel like we're going to see the Will and Peter stuff play out a little bit longer because they can't send all of the drama home in one week. But if I had to bet on it, I would say that Jamie will be the next to go. Okay, Morgan, we have one last clip to go through. This is the final clip of the day. It's going to get really, really intense. There's going to be a rose ceremony. Let's take a look. It is absolutely sick. My jaw's on the floor. In one instance, it can come crashing down. Sheesh, this show is so dramatic. How do we think this is comparing already to Katie's season with the drama? I feel like there's more drama on Michelle's immediately between a lot of the guys. Uh, I don't know, especially when you remember that Aaron was on Katie's season of The Bachelorette. I feel like they were constantly <laughs> picking on somebody. Like there was different drama every single week with Katie's. Honestly, I feel like a lot of drama is exactly the same between Katie's season and Michelle's season. And it's always who's here for the wrong reasons, who can't you trust, you know, who's planting seeds of doubt kind of seems like themes here in the seasons of the bachelorette. Maybe it's because we've had two back to backs. Maybe that's why I'm like slower to warm up to this season because I feel like it's the same drama that we're seeing over and over and over again. But like I said, I love Michelle. So I will power through it to watch Michelle find love. Yes. And next week is going to be absolutely drama filled. So let us know in the comments what you guys think is going to go down next week. Leave your predictions. Let us know some of your favorites. And before you guys go, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and ring the bell so you never miss out on any future videos. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality, joined by the lovely Morgan Wright. Our social media handles are on the screen right now. So give us a follow and come say hello. That is all we have for today. So thank you guys for watching and we will see you next time. See you later. Bye.